Hey everyone, welcome back to Libby Studio. Today I'm here to do a Cobra Kai Season 6 preview show, which basically I'm just going to be talking about what I want to see in Season 6, but I'm also going to kind of talk about Season 5, because I never ended up reviewing that on my channel. I reviewed Seasons 1 through 4, and then Season 5 was a period that I was just not posting on my channel. So I wanted to kind of share my thoughts on that too, and that will be a good segue into talking about Season 6. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, so season five. So this, I had a lot of high expectations for season five. Um, I thought it was going to be a great season. We were going to get to see Mike Barnes. We were going to get to see Chosen versus Silver, Daniel versus Silver, um, maybe Johnny versus Barnes. I think what I liked is that there were so many possibilities as to what the fights could be in season five. And I do think the show delivered on that regard. Um, you know, we got to see Mike Barnes actually join Daniel, Chosen, and Johnny, and that was a plot twist itself that I was not expecting, but I liked it. Um, we didn't see him be, like, the stereotypical bad guy, because Karate Kid 3, he was just very one note of a bad guy, and they really fleshed him out. The only thing is I wanted to see more of him, um, but I understand, like, why, because of scheduling and all of that, but... I do think going into season six, we will see more of Mike Barnes. So, like, I feel like that's not as much of a complaint. I mean, I did really enjoy him in season five. I just wanted to see more. But, they, again, if it was scheduling, there's nothing they could do about it. And I enjoy that we got him at all. Um, so, also in season five, um, one of the things that I did like was Tori. Um, you, you all know that I'm a Tori fan. But what I liked is that we got to see, like, a really vulnerable side of her. And we really got to understand her a, lo a lot more. And we saw that relationship that she had with Crease and how she was willing to do whatever he told her to do. Like, she really has a special bond with him that I think might be as strong as Johnny and Miguel and, and, and in that way. Um, I don't think we saw as much of them as we saw of Johnny and Miguel. But, you know, Tori really had him as like a, a, a mentor or as a sensei to look up to. Um, and you know, when he kind of like ditched her, that really upset her. Um, and then we kind of saw, I think one of Tori's best little arcs, mini arc during the, the end of that season where she quits that little, um, psychi tai guy emission thing. And then, um, she reveals to Sam that she actually won the all Valley. And then we had her working together with everyone. Um, her and Sam start to get along. So you know, I do think in that sense, we got really good stuff from Tori, and Peyton Liss is such a great actress, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what she brings in Season 6. Um, so I think Tori's character was such a highlight in Season 5. Um, there were several other characters that I really liked in Season 5. One was um, Daniel, and most of the time I just feel kind of mediocre on Daniel. Nothing's, he's nothing special. I mean, I know he's the karate kid, but he I just don't like him as much as I like Johnny, but Season 5 finally delved into his trauma from Karate Kid 3 and everything he went through with Terry Silver. And it, it, it made us as the audience understand kind of like why he can be the way that he is sometimes. And why he can be so protective over Miyagi's legacy. You know, when you have people like Crease and Silver and, how, and Barnes and how they treated him back then, it's perfectly understandable why he is why he can be so controlling over over certain situations and why he could be annoying and a hothead at times. I, I definitely am glad they capitalized on the trauma that he went through. And, um, you know, and everything, his, his whole arc was just really well done. And him finally getting to beat Silver was such a great moment for his character. And I do think his arc is kind of wrapped up. At least I thought so, but I think season six, they're going to give him something else, which I'm looking forward to. Another character I really liked in season five was Chosen. And I never would have expected we would see Chosen as a main character, but he was so good. He was so funny. I love the actor who plays him. He is debatably one of the best fighters on the show, like top three. Um, and yeah, he does a great great job being funny being strong being a good sensei you know kind of being quiet but also having good lines overall just a great character i love his dynamic with daniel i love his dynamic with johnny um his scenes with terry silver were really well done 
um, especially those scenes like early on in the season and how he was kind of playing Silver. And then that scene where he destroyed all the senseis was so good. So yeah, Chosen was a highlight in season five. And the other one that I'll say was a highlight was Sam. And I'm not the biggest Sam fan. Um, I don't know if I made, really made that clear on this channel. But season five kind of really did a deep dive into what she uh, is like feeling and how she feels about being a LaRusso. Um, it didn't really dive deep into her trauma that she's faced with Tori, which I don't think we're really going to get at this point because we're going into the final season. I think that was a missed opportunity. Um, but I did like how she developed as a character. She, she helped Anthony um, learn karate. She reached out to Tori and offered her support. Um, and then everything with Miguel and like showing maturity and admitting that she can't be with him instead of like leading him on. You know, I think she really did show great character development. And, you know, winning the Psychai Taikai match was a great moment for her character. Um, so, yeah, so I would say those were some of my favorite characters in season five, but I also have some least favorite characters. Um, one of those being um, Kim Da Un was not my favorite character. You know, I, I just didn't really like how, like, one note she was and how she had, like, no layers to her. She was just, like, a rude sensei, just out for Tori. Um, she just didn't have much... I don't know. I just did not like her at all. She wasn't even, like, a good villain to me. Um, you know, she had, um, I guess... I don't know. I, I can't even come up with one good thing that I liked about her. So that's all I'm going to say about Kim Da Un. Um, I also wasn't the biggest fan of Kenny um and I and I understand why you know he was on this path of becoming a bully after he was bullied but he was very hard to watch at times and I did not like how they tried to make him Cobra Kai's top fighter I thought that was stupid like he is not Miguel Robbie or Hawk level he's just not so stop trying to make him that way I I think they should have had his brother Sean be the top fighter but that's just me um, I think they kind of overpowered him, and I think I, I'm pretty sure most people can agree with me on on that that they overpowered Kenny, and that was just a letdown. I I wanted more from that character, but he just became very one note bully in season five as well, with with like no true like other layers to him really, just very hard to watch, just not my favorite. Um, but one thing I did not really like about season five was just how rushed the Miguel and Robbie reunion was because, you know, we had seasons worth of tension and then they finally fought it out. And then after that, they're just suddenly buddy buddy. And, you know, when you think about it, I, I guess because they're, you know, going to be brothers in the future, they kind of have to make make amends, work things out. But it just felt very rushed to me. Like, and the fact that I'm sorry. The fact that Miguel did not apologize to Robbie in that scene was ridiculous to me because, you know, Robbie, sure, he did the biggest fault by kicking Miguel off the balcony and never apologizing after until then. And he definitely had to apologize to Miguel. But Miguel also did many wrong things. You know, he taunted Robbie during their fight. He started the fight with Robbie in the first place. Um, you know, the way he acted on the beach in season one, you know, just, just a lot of different things with um, with that relationship that I feel like they should have done better with, but I don't really expect them to do anything more with that in season six because I think we've kind of moved on from that. Um, I do think there might be a little bit of a rivalry, but I don't think it's going to address any of what I want. So that that's kind of with Miguel and Robbie, and that kind of also ties into an issue I have because as much as I love that Johnny and Carmen are having a baby, I would have much rather explore more of Johnny and Robbie's relationship as father and son. That was just a disappointment to me because, you, you know, you think about it, Johnny, um, his his biggest fault for me was the, the way how he neglected Robbie all the way through the show until the end of season four when he finally reached out. Well, they didn't even reach out. They just happened to be in the same place. And then they had that nice moment. And then season five, they started to mend that relationship but there just wasn't enough for me to fully get it like um you know you can you could argue all day whether johnny treats miguel or robbie more like a son I, i'm not really going to go into that but um i do think the baby storyline did kind of take away 
I like Johnny's focus is now going to be on the baby. I would have liked him to put more effort with Robbie for sure. So I do, I am kind of disappointed in that, but I'm happy for Johnny and Carmen. They're having a baby. I, I, you know, I, I do probably would have rather seen a wedding than a baby. I, I mean, but then again, we're probably going to get both in season six. So whatever. Um, but yeah, that was definitely a low for me. Um, and the other, my, my final low, um, I mean, I probably have other lows, but I'm just going to say my final low was Terry Silver getting beaten at the end of the season. And, you know, and I understand like why for Daniel's arc that they had to have him be the one to beat Silver. But like, I felt like he went down too easily. Like I would have liked if they even had another season, you know, but then again, I feel like season six has to be kind of everyone together. So season five, but then again, they could have still done Terry Silver as a villain in season six and have everyone else on Miyagi do and bring in new senseis. They would have had to change the Kreese and Kim Daun thing, but they could have still done it. I don't think he should have went down at the end of season five because we saw how powerful he was. It just felt too easy to me. Um, so that's just me though. Um, that's kind of all I have to say about season five. So again, there was stuff I liked and stuff I didn't like basically about every season. It was probably my least favorite season, though, I would say. Season 5 was. And it's hard. I, I just didn't love it. Um, so, but let, let's talk about season 6 a little bit. So we pretty much have everyone on the same side um, working together um, for the Saikai Taikai tournament. And what I'm looking forward to, uh, besides seeing everyone together, is just the funny training moments between everyone. You know, I've waited kind of the whole show for just lighthearted stuff and like Johnny, you know, chucking beer bottles through the shoe at, at the kids that that's the type of thing I'm talking about. It's just so funny. So I'm looking forward to that, but, um, and I'm looking forward to the interactions between Miguel and Robbie and Sam and Tori, especially, um, Sam and Tori. And I'll go ahead and talk about that is I've heard that apparently, we're going to get to see Sam forgive Tori. And I'm really looking forward to that scene because I'm wondering how does Sam get to the point where she can forgive Tori? There must be something before then where someone encourages her to let it go. Um, and I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. We just don't know the full picture, but I'm looking forward to seeing her tell Tori, I forgive you. And you know, that's going to mean so much to Tori who never thought forgiveness was in the question. Um, for her um, from Sam, you know, after everything that she done, did to her. Um, but I'm also thinking Tori is going to go through something and I think her mom's going to die, whether it's in part one or part two. I think I, I, I definitely think she's going to die and that's going to be hard. But I know that Peyton Liss is going to deliver on that. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing Sam and Tori's relationship in season six. Um, the Miguel and Robbie of it all, I don't think it's going to be anything serious. I think they're just going to be fighting for team captains and there might be, you know, maybe a little bit of issues from last, from past seasons, but nothing too severe. I definitely think Sam and Tori is going to be the main thing. Um, but I've also heard that Hawk and Dimitri are going to have some friendship triples. And this is interesting. Um, it sounds like one of them has like different college plans than the other is what I read. So whatever that means, that's going to be, um, interesting. And what I noticed is that Dimitri seems to kind of be getting tougher and I don't think he's going to be a villain, but I do think he's going to get more aggressive and that's going to make Hawk concerned for him. So I'm down for like more of a storyline for Dimitri. He barely got any screen time in season five. I think it's time for something more from him. Um, Hawk, I didn't even talk about Hawk's diminished role because it wasn't as big of a low to me, but I would like to see him have more of a storyline in season six. And, um, I would like, um, this, the, with the main teens to be like those core six, Miguel, Robbie, Sam, Tori, Hawk, and Dimitri. I, I don't need to see like Kenny, Anthony, and Devin have like a lot of screen time. They can have some, but I don't want like them to be as big a roles as they had in season five, especially Kenny. So I, I hope they're going to kind of back off from that in season six. But kind of the main other plot line is the Kreese and Kim Da-un thing. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing them training students in South Korea and, and learning more about the backstory of Kim Sung-young 
So I, I think that's going to be very good. Um, whether we're, I, I, I heard somewhere that there was an actor casted as Kim Sung Young, which is very interesting to me. So does that mean he's alive? I doubt it. I don't think he's going to be alive. That would be weird, but he could be. He would just be like a hundred years old or something. Um, but no, I'm looking forward to that dynamic between Crease and Kim Da Eun in season six. So as far as past characters returning, Mike Barnes, we know, is going to return in season six. We saw a clip with him. I'm looking forward to that. I think he's going to be training Dimitri a little bit, which I think is going to um, is going to be that whole storyline with him becoming tougher. Um, I don't know about Julie Pierce, uh, Hillary Swank. I don't know. I'm kind of split down the middle on that one. I hear people say she's definitely coming back, and then I hear people say there's no way she's coming back. So I think we're gonna have just gonna have to wait and watch it to see if she does show up in it. Um, but I don't know. Um, I definitely think there's a possibility, but I not one hundred percent on it. Um, I do think it's possible maybe she's connected to the Miyagi secrets that Daniel finds in the room um, in the trailer, and I think that's gonna be such a a cool storyline. I'm looking forward to them tying it all all the way back to Miyagi. I think. It's going to be something that's going to turn Daniel off a little bit and make him kind of question Mr. Miyagi a little bit. So I do think that's going to kind of be Daniel's arc in season six. One of the things I'm not really looking forward to, though, is Daniel and Johnny continuing to bicker. I'm fine with just some casual bickering, but it looked like they were getting ready to fight in the trailer, which I don't want to see another fight between them. I was sick of it in season four. I'm sick of it now. Let's just move on. You know, they again, they can bicker, they can have small disagreements, but we don't need to see fights. Like, fights for fun, sure, but not like, I, I'm just tired of the fights. That That's it. So, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Maybe it won't be as bad as I think it will be. But, yeah, so I'm going to kind of wrap this up. So let me know what you're looking forward to in Season 6. Um, I'll be reviewing it each episode at a time. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. And yeah, I will see you then uh, to, to talk about the season. And yeah, so thanks everyone for watching and bye everyone.